In this video, I'm gonna tell you why Wizarding Wave won't be as popular as Genshin Impact. This video literally took me hours to make, so sit down and watch the video until the end, and you will be surprised. The first reason is because of the combat. You see, Wizarding Wave combat is a bit more complex and hard than most games. If you don't understand what I mean, is basically you have to perfectly dodge and counter the enemy. Failed to do so will be your downfall. And most of people prefer simple combat because some of them have skill issues. The second thing is the character design. You see, the character design in Wizarding Wave is quite unique. I like it in my opinion, but that doesn't mean everyone like it. A lot of people are complaining how the character design look modern and look dark. They want it to be unique and colorful like Genshin Impact. And that one of the issues that I'm gonna address is that those players won't play the game if the character aren't appealing. They want waifu slash husbando to be unique and beautiful to play with, and I can understand that. I hope that Wizarding Wave developer will add more unique character with unique personality to appeal to those player base with a lot of colorful characters like Verena and Yin Lin as an example. You see, those two before the CBT2 and after the CBT2 are way unique, and that what player want in every single character. If they do that, they will receive amount of popularity. Genshin Impact is way too popular for Wizarding Wave. What I mean is, first of all, Genshin has been released for 4 years now, and Wizarding Wave still hasn't been released. Now when it's gonna be releasing, it won't be as big as Genshin because of many reasons that I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, check the Reddit of Genshin Impact. It have almost 3 million Redditors. And as for Wizarding Wave, it only have 42,000 people in Reddit, by the way, alone. Now let's go to Twitter. In Twitter, Genshin Impact have 5 million followers and Wizarding Wave only have 300,000 followers. There's a big difference between those two. Also, in YouTube, Genshin Impact have 7 million subscribers and Wizarding Wave only have almost 300,000 subscribers. And also, we should not forget that the reason why Genshin Impact got too much attention and became popular is because of the COVID. At that time, when Genshin was released, it was the quarantine. And a lot of people were bored. And therefore, people started to play the free-to-play game called Genshin. And that's how they became big. And I don't see that happening for Wizarding Wave, because there is no quarantine for now at least. I know that in the pre-registration, Wizarding Wave have 16 million pre-registration users. But that doesn't mean that all those players are gonna play Wizarding Wave. You see, Tower Fantasy was popular at the beginning and it fell down badly. And this might happen to Wizarding Wave. If they don't do a good job at maintaining the player base, those players will go back to play Genshin Impact once again, and the cycle will repeat itself. So, Wizarding Wave is meant to post as many Genshin players as possible. But not everyone is gonna give up on Genshin Impact to play Wizarding Wave. And the thing is, Having two open world games is too much time consuming and not everyone can play both games. So they either have to give up Genshin Impact and play Wizarding Wave or just not play Wizarding Wave at all. Most of people 
already invested too much time in Genshin Impact or other gacha game to abandon it in the first place. And I can understand that. Another reason why Wizard and Wave won't be as popular as Genshin because all of the Genshin content creators build the majority of their community from Genshin. So by default, viewers will already be biased toward the game. I mean, who else would want a better game to replace their favorite game run by the most greedy company shit feeding devs who 100% care about their community? Along with the fact that the Genshin YouTuber will share a nail take about Wizarding Wave, and their brain dead ship fanbase will aid it all up just to invalidate Wizarding Wave. I'm not saying Genshin YouTuber are bad, I'm saying Genshin YouTuber have a bad take the majority of the time. Now, how can Wizarding Wave be as big as Genshin? I will tell you the three main things. The first and the uh, most top priority in my list is to listen to their community. The reason is, if they do listen to their community, they won't have big drama and, uh, and they will have a good feedback and that will attract more players in their game. And that's one of the main things I think they should do. The second thing is to add more reward. You see, the reward is one of the main aspects also in the game. The more rewards they will give, the more player will want to play the game and get their wife or a husband or, and that will attract more player because they will hear that this game give a lot of, of reward and they are very generous and that will of course attract player and I think that would be a great idea. To make them popular. The third and last thing is the collaboration. You see, I feel like if they do collaboration, the game will become more popular and it will attract anime fan or uh, people that enjoy that collaboration to the game. That one of the things that I think they should do, like Nikkei. Nikkei every four or five months they do a collaboration and they make shit ton of money and I feel like if they do that Wizard and Wave will be popular because people want collaboration the collaboration will attract a lot of players in fact that's all I have to say now if you did enjoy this type of content please do subscribe to my youtube channel put a like and follow me on twitch.tv slash alex and that's it have a good day bye bye